اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to talk about how to report reliability and validity for a reflective reflective higher order construct. A quick recap as to what we have done up until now. As part of the series we are assessing on this particular model. Now we have done the lower order constructs that is assessed the reliability and validity of the lower order constructs. Next we assessed the measurement model for the lower order and higher order constructs now the next step is how to report a reflective reflective higher order construct that is internal surface quality in this particular session let's open our model that we last built quickly these are the lower order constructs that is every single lower order construct doesn't matter if it is part of a higher order construct or not the first step all lower order constructs checked for reliability and validity the video will be shared in the description next we assessed the higher order construct based on latent variable score again the videos will be shared in the description now this is your reflective reflective higher order construct now how we validated it we simply added these the dimensions that were earlier the dimensions they were added as indicators in the second stage now once they were added as indicators the whole model was checked again for reliability and validity with this particular construct added now in this particular session i'm going to focus on how to report the results we did assess the results in the last session now let's turn the model again PLS algorithm path everything checks out start now here is your graphical output with all the loadings here now these are the loadings they all look good now how do we report this model now if you want to copy this model what you can do is you can simply right click export as image and you can save it to clipboard or file and then import it in your word document Now how do we report this? I've got a template here. Now we have seen this that we start the reporting of measurement model with a brief description. Then we report the factor loadings and this particular structure was followed for all the lower order construct that is at the first stage. Then the indicator multicollinearity, reliability analysis, construct validity with convergent validity, the AVE values discriminant validity with fauna and lock criterion here it is cross loadings obviously you can report them here htmt here it is now we are going to validate or rather report what we have validated that is your higher order construct reflective reflective higher order construct of internal surface quality now when we are reporting or validating reflective reflective higher order construct The higher order construct that is reflective at the higher level will have the same reporting mechanism. We will report the factor loadings as we have done with the reflective lower order construct. We will report the reliability and validity. We will report all these things that we have reported for the lower order constructs. However, I suggest do not add separate headings or separate sections for each of the estimates or statistics in this case what i've done is i've just written this paragraph here and i'm going to add one or two tables in order to summarize the results instead of adding all these tables separately that i did for lower order construct because majority of the constructs are the same only one construct is your higher order reflective reflective So you start off with internal surface quality was the higher order construct in the study based on four lower order constructs and what were they they were reliability assurance empathy and responsiveness now isq is measured as reflective reflective higher order construct in the study in order to establish the higher order construct validity the factor loadings reliability and validity were assessed just as you did for your lower order construct that was reflective as well 
So how do you report it? Again, you report the factor loadings, then the reliability, then the AVE, and then your discriminant validity. So how do we do this? Let's go to our output here. Report. Outer loadings. And in this case, I'm just going to use the list here. Now, what do I need here? Now, I do not need these things here because these are the lower order constructs. I just simply need my higher order construct. That's it. I'm just going to get this right click copy I'm going to get Excel here. Paste it here. Now, these are my loadings for these dimensions of ISQ now serving as indicators at the higher level. Now I'm going to get the reliability and validity details. Here they are. I'm just going to go for here it is. That's it. Right click copy. Here it is. So I do not need this. Delete and this is your alpha. This is your row if you want to report it, but for now just keep out. Let's delete it. That's your CR and that's your AVE. That's it. You've got the loadings and you've got all these things. Right click, format cells, number, three decimal points. Okay. Let's copy this and paste it here in the Word document. Right click, out of it, out of it to window, bottom border, top border, bottom border, and centered. Change the font. And what was the last table? Table 7, so this should be table 8. The loadings, reliability, and AVE for higher order construct. That is your ISQ. Now, once this is done, now we are going to report our discriminant validity. Again, how it is done and how it is reported. Once you have done this, the reliability and validity, you report your discriminant validity like this. How to do this? Let's come back here and discriminant validity now in this case you can simply copy this particular line here because you are comparing isq with the rest the vision with isq or isq with vision you do not need this here because this is already reported and these are already validated now how do we report discriminant validity let's say this is my table 9 now here are the results. This is discriminant validity HTMT ratio and this is Fornell and Larker criterion. Now if you look here, this is for higher order construct, internal service quality, higher order reflective, reflective construct. Now we can copy it to Excel and let's say I paste it here. Now I'm not in need of all these comparisons. I'm just in need of comparing higher order reflective reflective internal service quality construct with all my other constructs in this study so i can delete these otherwise if you want to keep it just for the sake of proper readability or understanding you can keep them as well now let me remove this one this is my htmt insert merge and center HTMT and similarly I can copy Fornell and Larker criterion. Here it is. Copy to Excel. Let's paste it here. Again, I will remove this. Now, within construct variance for ISQ is higher than shared variance. This value here is higher than all these values here. This means that your discriminant validity based on Forner and Locker criterion is also established. So what you can do is simply merge and center, write Fornell and Locker criterion. And you can copy this table in your Microsoft Word document and format it as we've done already. 
select it all all border no border top bottom borders bottom border and similarly you can do it for this one here as well so this is how you can report your higher order reflective reflective construct whereby you start with what your construct is its sub dimensions the factor loadings reliability convergent validity and discriminant validity just as you did for your lower order constructs now therein we had separate factor loadings table we had indicator collinearity separately described reliability analysis convergent validity and all but here at higher order level instead of doing it separately i just made one single section and added all the relevant details i hope this session would have helped you understand how to report reflective reflective higher order construct thank you very much